Hi there. Hope you have a fantastic day today. This lesson, I'm going to teach you relative frequency. So if you like, you can also download the PDF file questions on the description below so you can work with me. Otherwise, let's go straight into it. When we come to measurements, it is impossible for us to measure in exact. Let's say for an example, the distance from your house to your best friend's house is 15 kilometers. So this means that the actual distance could be anything from 14.5 kilometers to 15.5 kilometers. So 14.5 kilometers we call lower limit and 15.5 kilometers is the upper limit. So how do we work out the um, lower limit and the upper limit? Okay, in this case, so what we do is we find out the maximum error first or absolute error if you like and then what happened is we use 15 kilometers minus the maximum error or absolute error if you like will give you the lower limit and to find the upper limit so what we do is we go 15 plus the absolute error or maximum error if you like but then how do we work out the absolute error the absolute error is always half of the degree of accuracy but then what is the degree of accuracy for example if we have a measurement of 53 centimeters and this one here is correct to centimeters so therefore the degree of accuracy is one centimeter and to work out the absolute error so we, all we need to do is which is a half of one centimeter another example so in this case is correct to 10 meters so therefore, the degree of accuracy is 10 meters. So therefore, to work out the absolute error, so this is a half of 10 meters. Next example, we have 12.3 meters. And this case is correct to one decimal place. So therefore, the degree of accuracy is 0.1 of a meter. All right, so keep that in mind. Then to work out the absolute error, so the absolute error is half of 0 0.1 meters. Last example. So we have 8.34 kilograms. In this case, it's actually correct to two decimal place. So therefore, the degree of accuracy is 0 0.01 kilograms. So to work out the absolute error, so this means that the absolute error is half of 0 0.01 of a kilogram so let's go through an actual example for an example the distance from sydney to perth is 3900 kilometers between what two limits of the two city line so step number one we need to work out the absolute error first and then to work out the law limit all we need to do is we use 3900 minus the absolute error and for upper limit we just go 3900 plus the absolute error that's all now but before we do that first of all we know that it's 3900 kilometers so this means that it is correct to 100 of a kilometer so therefore the degree of accuracy is 100 kilometer so we just go absolute error first so it is equal to half of the degree of accuracy so i put just a plus and a minus or just a half of a hundred if you like so a hundred so which is 50 kilometers so therefore so for lower limit we minus 50 from 3,900 kilometers and upper which is add okay so I can write a plus or a minus here so therefore upper limit is is equal to 3,900 plus 50 so that will give me 3,950 kilometers and then I can find the lower limit which is equal to 3,900 minus 50. So that is 3,850 kilometers. 
So therefore, it is between 3,850 kilometers and 3,950 kilometers. So let me just write this down. There you go. Now, if you download the worksheet and you work with me, your measurements slightly different from mine because the scale might be different, okay? So just be aware of that. So first of all, let me measure this length first, just roughly, okay? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and ten point six, yeah, roughly. So ten centimeters. Let's say the length is ten point six centimeters. Please noting that is actually one decimal place because 10.6, right? So therefore, the degree of accuracy is 0 0.1 centimeters. So therefore, we need to work out the absolute error first. So the absolute error is equal to plus or minus a half of the degree of accuracy. In this case, it's 0 0.1 of a centimeter. So therefore, if I put in a calculator, okay, it will give me plus or minus 0 0.05 centimeters. So therefore, it will be between, so let me just work this out first. So that will give me, I just go 10 point six minus zero point zero five so that is ten point five five centimeters so this is the the lower limit so the upper limit is which is at zero point zero five so this will give me ten point six five so therefore, okay, it is between There you go. So this is between 10.55 cm and 10.65 cm. Please pause the video and try this one yourself. Hi, I'm back. How did you go? So let me go through the first one with you first, okay? So first of all, so we know that the degree of accuracy is 10. So because it's correct to 10 meters, because 120, all right? So 10 meters is the degree of accuracy. So therefore, absolute error is equal to a half of 10 meters. So that is equal to 5 meters. So therefore, the upper limit is with plus 5. And the lower limit is with minus 5. So therefore, let me write this down. Lower limit is equal to 120 minus 5. So which is 115 meters. That is the lower limit. Okay. And upper limit which equal to 120 plus 5, so which is 125 meters. So therefore, it is between 115 and 125 meters. There you go. Let's move on second one. So we know the degree of accuracy is 0 0.1. So therefore, absolute error is equal to half of 0 0.1. So that will give me 
plus or minus 0 0.05 centimeters. So therefore, the low limit is so 4.0 minus 0 0.05. So that is equal to 3.95 centimeters. And the upper limit is which is at 0 0.05. So therefore, it is between 3.95 centimeters and 4.05 centimeters. There you go. Last one. Because it is correct to two decimal place, so the degree of accuracy is 0 0.01. Okay, so 0 0.01 is the degree of accuracy. And the absolute error or maximum error, if you like, is a half of 0 0.01. So a half of 0 0.01 is equal to 0 0.005. Otherwise, you can just put in a calculator. So we just put in calculator. So 0 0.5 times 0 0.01. See, there you go. 0 0.005. So equal to 0 0.005 centimeters. Okay, so that is the absolute error. So it's a plus or minus. So it's minus is for a lower limit and plus is for upper limit. Okay, so don't forget. So lower limit. So lower limit is equal to 12.37 minus 0 0.005. So which equal to, I just put in the calculator. So what I do, I just go 12.37 minus the answer. There you go. So 12.365. centimeters so that is the lower limit and the upper limit is which is at okay so that will give me 12.375 centimeters of course so therefore, it is between 12.365 centimeters and 12.375 centimeters. There you go. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you got all of them correct. Bye.